You can freeze rows and columns of data in your spreadsheet. Freezing them will keep them visible as you scroll through the spreadsheet. So for example, right now, you notice the header at the top in purple. As I scroll down this sheet, the header goes away. Same thing happens with the student's first and last names here in the first two columns. When I move to the right to look at their data, I no longer know who it belongs to unless I continually scroll back. So let's look at how we can freeze these rows and columns to make it easier when we're looking at a lot of data. You can find the freeze option underneath the view menu, freeze, and then you'll see here rows at the top, columns at the bottom. So let's go ahead and select our first row. Now we notice when we scroll down, that header stays at the very top. So you can use the view menu, but you also notice these two little dark gray lines here. If you hover over them, they turn to a hand. So I'm going to left click on this, drag to the right, and now I have frozen these first two columns. So now you notice when I scroll to the right, their first and last names stay in place so I can easily see who this column of information belongs to. To unfreeze the rows and columns, you can move the gray line back to the original start, or you can come back up to view again, freeze, and choose no rows. Now when I scroll, you see it goes away again. To move a column, you want to select the column, then you'll notice when you put your mouse over the header, where it says like the E, letter E here, left click, and now you can drag this column to whatever location you want it to be. Notice if I have columns frozen though, if I select this column and I go to move it, it's going to tell me that I cannot move columns in a frozen section. So all you have to do then is come up, unfreeze these rows by moving that dark gray line, then you can switch your columns, then you can come back and refreeze it again. So that's just a little tip for when you're going to, to move things around on your Google Sheet.